kids that graduated from New York City schools, and this is directed to the candidates. One is, I'm a foster parent here in New York City. I only deal with teenage girls. I have pushed five girls through your city school district that can barely read or write. Whoa. Five. They come to my house every day because they have no jobs. Kids, they live in a cable house. It's so sad because once they leave me at 18, they go into the world that was not prepared for them. Now, not, I might not get them until they're in a senior in high school, and I dump them into your high, and I have watched these kids with, I call them my kids. My daughter cannot read, and she walked across the stage at William Penn out at the York Fairground, and I'm telling these caseworkers, I'm telling teachers, I'm telling everybody, this girl cannot read. How is she graduating? Because nobody wants to take the time. Nobody wants to deal with her anymore because she's been a problem child all these years. She's been bounced from school to school to school. So my point is, we let these kids out of school every other Wednesday for a half a day. For what? For what? I'm most frustrated about is before someone would take me seriously, I have to run down my credentials and my resume because they look down on me. They automatically assume I'm a single parent, that my home is messed up because of the color of my skin. I know that's what it is. They make it clear. And I have to step up and tell them who I am and who we are and what we're about. But my daughter, Janae graduated from William Penn, and um, all along I've been talking to the school about what I felt she wasn't getting, and they assured me that she would get what she needed. It wasn't until I made it possible for her to enter Morgan State University that I realized that they lied to me, and they lied to her. I went in my pocket and I paid enormous amounts of money for her to be there. Okay, she entered at the beginning of the semester and now she's home because she could not compete. Janae always had a gifted IEP. She was in top level courses since we came here. She was in the MAC program, gifted program. All of her classes were level five. When she got to Morgan State, she could not pass the test and had to be placed in developmental reading. There is no reason at all why that should have occurred. Someone was sitting on their behind, not doing their job. Over and over again, I had to go in and ask teachers, where are your lesson plans? And then I had to tell them what a lesson plan was, what it should look like, and how it should be used. All I received was excuses. I had to constantly go in and say to them, as an educator myself, because my child is gifted doesn't mean she's going to teach herself. It means she's capable of learning more at a quicker pace. It is your job to teach her. The sky is the limit. There is no more excuse for teaching my child. Now, other children, they try to use the excuse, we can't give it to you because you don't sit down, you don't listen, you don't pay attention. And they glory in that behavior because now that's their reason for not giving them what they're supposed to get. But that wasn't an excuse for my child. 
So now I need to understand why I am out of money and why my daughter is home. Because she has her degree, she has her diploma, she did what she was supposed to do, she just didn't get what she was supposed to get. Yeah.